Come on, come on. Come along. Quick, quick. And while the team starts sweeping and scrubbing, Kim takes a shine to youngest son, Joey. Your mum's got some very nice silver. Joe, I'm going to work a miracle now. I'm going to clean it. Now, you mustn't do this with silver plate. It's got to be the real, genuine silver. I put some hot water just under a scoop. Now, I put in this bowl of aluminum foil. I dip that silver in, and I'm going to show you what happens. Now, you rinse it, little chappy. Go on. Go on. In you go. In you go. There's a good lad. There you go, young man. All right. A nice, hard toweling cloth is wonderful for polishing your silver off. Look at this, look. Can we see our... You know, we're not bad looking, are we? Now Aggie sinks her teeth into a potentially poisonous problem. Love your python, but he's not going to want to make friends with me, is he? No, he'll stay around my neck. OK, that's fine. I'm glad to hear that. Earlier, I took a swab from the side of the tank here, and it shows that Spike is carrying salmonella. Do you realize that if you were handling Spike and you weren't washing your hands afterwards, that you're at grave risk of catching salmonella? They are also in danger of catching salmonella. And before you know where you are, the whole house is down with it. Take some warm, soapy water here. Not a strong solution. And how often do you handle him? Once a week or so. And are you careful about washing your hands afterwards? I'll be more careful now, that's for sure. The fingernails! Look at the fingernails! When do they ever get a scrub? Now, have you seen the colour of this water? And what spikes living in there? It's not fair, is it? Not at all. No. It's one thing you living in muck, but you shouldn't expect your snake to as well. So it's clean and dry. I think that Spike wants to thank you for his new clean home. Neck massage. Oh, I, I, are we sure about this? Yeah. Oh my goodness me. Oh, actually, hello, Spikey. There oh, you actually, go. Actually, it feels quite nice. With all the animals around this house, Kim has an idea that's a breath of fresh air. Now, Vera, this is a wonderful tip, I'm telling you. If you use a particular fragrance you like, your husband has an aftershave. If something you use on your little baby smells beautiful, you can bring it into your home. I've got here lavender. This is essential oil. You buy it at all the food stores, health food stores, you know. It's a very lovely smell. And lavender is known to sort of soothe you to sleep. And you put a bit round the light bulb. Every time you put that lamp on, the heat will bring that smell out into the room. You could be, you know, you could, you know, your husband is aftershave, you know, you're feeling a night of passion coming up here, passion. And so you put it on the bulbs, you see. And as he comes in the poor of devil, not suspecting a thing, on it goes, and you get all funny with yourself. <laughs> and you say, Come along, Dan. Or you put your perfume on, so you make him funny. There could be a six child on the way. No, 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 no six child. And I will accept no responsibility <laughs> for your passionate light. Just no, enjoy yourself. Send them to you. Before passion takes flight, the Bradford flock is sent out of their nest so that our team can take over for the big final clean. And just wait till the Bradford see the results of Kim and Aggie's animal efforts. The Bradford Zoo has been scrubbed and scoured for 24 beastly hours. Family was sent away for the big final clean. Now Kim and Aggie have brought them back to see what's become of their hazardous habitat. Look at all the muck, mess and debris we've cleared out of the house. The fires are having a field day here. This has 10 gallons of water in it. We took five of these out of the carpets. Oh, God. Nasty bacteria soup there. Looks like the water after you get out of the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> now, all the telling off's over. You've got a lovely home. We're going to go and see it. All right. Come on, Come folks. On, Let's everywhere. get wheeling. Come along. Walking in the front door of this house was like entering a lion's den. Now it's home to a pride of Bradford's. Welcome to your new home. So Better than when we moved in when it was brand new. The kitchen was a base breeding ground for bugs and bacteria. Now it's a diner's dream. No, no, it's beautiful. Yeah? It's beautiful. And the formerly foul fridge is fresh and fragrant. Mom and Dad's bedroom was bedlam. 
Now it's a serene oasis of order. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. Beautiful. I love it. Young Joey's loft was a putrid perch. Now it's top flight. Ah, good life. Okay, wake me up in ten minutes. Are you going to have a little sleep? Can I kiss you good night? No. <laughs> you tease me all the time. Before anybody gets too comfortable, Kim and Aggie have a plan to keep the Bradford Zoo looking bright for visitors and residents alike. Now everyone has done a lovely themed schedule for you. Okay, to keep you on the straight and narrow. Mum and Dad, kitchen, girls, bathrooms, boys in the living room. Now, you're all at liberty to swap around, chop and change, but there's no sneaking, okay? I think I can do it. The Bradford Zoo is now a sanitary sanctuary. Keep it clean. Oh, well, I think we've given them a marvellous start, haven't we? Yes, I think we have. Two weeks have gone by. Have our filth offenders kept their territory tidy? One way to find out. Wow, the family room looks flawless. There's no more cat litter box, and I like it. Joey's second floor loft is still tip top. But what about that creepy kitchen? Not a dirty dish in sight. And what's doing down below? Looks like the Bradfords were so motivated by their makeover, they've even put in a new floor. Everybody's chipping in. They're helping more and more. The Bradford home looks better than ever. And our cleaning queens are off to their next dirty destination. But they've still got one more stop in Southern California. This is what, what I'm looking for, Axie. Oh, yes, I've heard about these people. Oh, yes, the drawer up, oh, Axie. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Axie, you bump okay, okay, right. 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 Which was plain to see. How much, how much is this, Matt? $10 each. Do you know any dirty houses by any chance? Dirty houses? That the stars live in. <laughs> I wouldn't know. $10! What a flaming ripoff! 